Hello guys! Today, I will show you the top 5 bloodiest battles of the American Civil War. At number 5, we have the Battle of Fredericksburg. On December 11th, 1862 Union engineers began to push pontoon bridges across the Rappahannock River outside of the city of Fredericksburg in the Confederate state of Virginia. Union artillery had largely destroyed the old city of Fredericksburg, but the ensuing Battle of Fredericksburg on December 13th W, leaving 12,653 casualties, 1280 were killed. At number 4, we have the Battle of Stones River. In late December, just after Christmas, Union General William S. Rosecrans's Army of the Cumberland marched toward Bragg's Army of Tennessee, which lay a short distance southeast of Nashville near Murfreesboro. The Confederate cavalry harassed his advance. Rosecrans nevertheless made rapid progress. At number three, we have the Second Battle of Bull Run. The initial confrontation pitted Lee against a separate army headed by Union, General John Pope, who brought a harsher type of war to Virginia. He threatened to execute guerrillas, arrest citizens who harbored irregulars, and drive from their homes civilians in Union lines who refused to take the oath. At number two, we have the Battle of Chancellorsville. Some of Burnside's subordinates, including Joseph Hooker, lobbied with Congress for a change of command. Lincoln replaced Burnside with fighting Joe Hooker. Hooker initially showed great promise as commander of the Army of the Potomac. He brought a combination of talent and extreme ambition to his. At number one, we have the Battle of Gettysburg. Gettysburg on June 30 and fought the largest battle of the war on July 1 to 3, 1863. The first day was a striking Confederate success, despite the fact that Lee's forces were not concentrated or coordinated. Two Union infantry corps were badly mauled. The Federals just managed to hang on to high ground. That was it for today. Please consider subscribing. It helps a lot.